Hi, it's Elder, and in today's video I will share with you my favorite new feature in Blocks 3.4. So I have been using Blocks for Mac for a few years now and during all that time I have been waiting for one particular feature. And it is not something fancy and this feature will not actually make your end product, your Blocks website better, but it will hugely improve the overall user experience. Before I tell you what this feature is, if you are a Blocks user, I want to ask you to go into the comments below and share what is your favorite future in blocks and also share what future you would like to see in the future versions of blocks so the future i'm talking about my favorite new future in the latest versions of blocks is embedded assets embedded assets is a future which allows you to store all of the images all of the project assets inside one dot block file so to make sure that this embedded asset feature is available for all of your new blocks projects, you need to go to the blocks preferences. And here you have the auto embed project assets in new projects feature. And it is enabled by default, but if you want, you can disable it. But once again, I recommend to enable it and all of your new projects will have this feature enabled by default. So if your project was created in earlier versions of blocks, you can go to project settings for this project. And here in the last tab, you have the project asset option. And it is enabled now because it is a new project, but let me show you how it was before we had this feature. So let me disable this, click done. And let's say that I'm working on this project here and I go to desktop and I don't think too much. I just drag this image into my website and I forget about it. I work on other aspects of my blog's website, maybe like make it smaller, make it like make some adjustments. And then I close blocks. I close blocks and as you remember, this image is, it is located on the desktop. Let's say that I move it to downloads folder. And then next time I open the video project, my blocks project, and as you can see, it gives me this pink image missing assets error. And of course we can click on image and find this image somewhere on our computer, like go to downloads folder and find this pink image and it will be restored, but it is very cumbersome if you have lots of images and as you can see here there is this chain icon which says that this image is linked it's not embedded inside so for new projects you can have this feature enabled by default for old projects you can go to the project settings and you can check this project asset feature and click done but keep in mind that this will not embed the existing files which you linked in the asset manager as you can see it is still showing the link icon so to embed the older files you need to go to each of your files click right click on this image and click on embed assets in new project file in project file so now when we save that then we close this and let's say that we get rid of this image altogether we delete it now let's even even empty the trash so now it's not on our computer but when i open the blocks project file you can see that this image is here and it means that when we for example let's create another column here now if we want to add an image to our website we can just drag it from everywhere and from now we can go to desktop we can delete this image and forget about it because next time when we open this project you can see that this image doesn't have this link icon it means that this one is inside this project blocks project file so we can just save it and send this file to our other computer or to other person and when he or she opens it you can see that we have both of these images available for us inside of blocks project file and it is especially important to a person like me 
because as you know I am the creator of blocks templates and uh, blocks master and lots of people asking me to take a look at their blocks projects and most of the time they will send me the project files without the images of course and the videos and the music all files and when I open this pro blocks project file I will get this missing error missing assets error and it was really driving me crazy for a long long time so now all they need to do is just send me one file and I could take a look at it and fix their problem and send it back intact without missing anything so this is my favorite feature in blocks 3.4 and if you have any questions as always you can ask them or you can send them to me by email and I will do my best to help you and if you like this video please subscribe and give me the thumbs up so I know that what kind of videos you want to see in the future. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.